Today we are going to react to Intro to Japanese Culture from Million Dollar Extreme 2. Moshi Moshi, Chang Pao, Singwa, Dai Chan, Nippon. Translation Welcome to my video about Japanese culture. My name is Sam Hyde. Wow, this is absolutely perfect for the Asian phase I'm going through right now. I hope there's nothing crazy that's going to happen in this video. He is holding back a smirk. He is holding back a smirk and I am so nervous. I am extremely nervous. Okay, and look how sweaty he is. That's just making me more nervous. It's cool. It's fine. I'm okay. Um, for the past on and off five to ten years, I've been a amateur philosopher and student of the great cultures of the world, notably Japanese culture. Um, Me in five years. I don't know anything about <laughs> Japanese culture. I'd like this video to serve as sort of a primer. Japan is a country of uh, great strength. They invented martial arts. They invented... Uh, I thought that I read that China, the martial arts are from China because of the like crouching tiger, hidden dragon, you know, the it's it's spelled double W U X I A. Like the, I don't know if it's called like Wu Wu I I don't know how to pronounce it. I've, I've only ever read about it, but it's like, it's like magical martial it's like magical karate or something like that like magical martial arts like they're, like when they're like flying through the trees and stuff and when i was like looking into that i thought that i read it was chi oh my gosh do all of you hear me right now are you hearing me right now okay i'm fine i'm gonna do skincare and pilates after this okay i don't know what i'm regressing into um the super fast Drift race cars such as Mitsubishi Eclipse and Toyota Corolla. Uh, Toyota Corolla is a race car. <laughs> Sorry, hearing like hearing race car and Toyota Corolla. I don't know anything about race cars, so like I probably sound like a dumbo right now. But like, yeah, like <laughs> hearing race car and Toyota Corolla together is is a very foreign concept to me. Um, so this is like a straight up, this is like a straight up essay about the culture so far, you know? I'm just very nervous because like, I can tell he's like, trying to s not this smirk. Incidentally, is made of kimono fabric. I don't know if you can see this, but this is actually a, a tightly woven kimono, Japanese kimono. Kimono means, um, clothes Close. in Japanese. <laughs> see what I'm saying? It, stop! Kimono shirt. Now, kimonos are interesting. I'm so nervous. Japanese identity. Um, mm -hmm. 1600s kimonos. great Japanese samurai, or fighting swordsman, Chobon Jingwa, he would not go out to battle <laughs> without his kimono. So you could say that his kimono... I can't with his the looks and the... Okay. ...was as essential to him as his sword was. And this is sort of the Japanese way. Um, tea ceremonies and ink blots and all kinds of papyrus paper. It's all essential to tea the ceremonies it's looked at holistic. and ink blots. <laughs> uh, and this is what's known as a Zen philosophy, and this is why their warriors were so feared, and why the great 1600 samurai Chong Bing Hua, who was probably the finest swordsman to ever live, and it's said that George Lucas based the the Jedi Knights off of this one person. <laughs> George Lucas based the Jedi Knights off of this famous samurai. That is the nerdiest, the nerdiest thing I've ever heard in my life. And I've been to a comic book convention. And no, it wasn't, it was because of my friend's boyfriend. Okay, I was being a friend to my friend and her nerdy event planning boyfriend just for the I oh my gosh this is I just realized like how nerdy I mean I think I realized a second ago when I was like talking about like wait I thought martial arts came from well actually martial arts when I went in China I have no idea I have no idea and I don't care I studied German in high school and classical Latin in college okay and I really want to learn Spanish because that could actually be very lucrative <laughs> but he was able to 
take on brigades of Western uh, invading British uh, soldiers who, who were all equipped with guns. He single-handedly, um, he was a badass commando samurai. Samurai. Translation, Japanese fighting swordsman. Um, Did I go uh, back? No. Japan. Or Nippon, as it is called in Japan. Nippon. <laughs> the women of Japan are... Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I knew something was going to happen. I knew it. I knew so. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we'll just see what he has to say. We'll see what he has to say. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, prized and valued throughout the world. Japanese women are uh, considered to be uh, many times more beautiful and uh, uh, many times more sexually exciting. Oh my god. <laughs> Western women, and I, for one, have to agree. Um, I've dated a few Japanese girls, and uh, I will just suffice it to say, I will not go back to dating Western women. And maybe it's a cultural thing. Okay, this isn't. Um, a, I was expecting Japanese women look like preteens. Okay. And to me, that's gross. Also, they have these little slit slits for eyes. I knew something was, I knew something was, I didn't, like, okay, I wasn't expecting it to be that gross, um, so I'm definitely gonna have to cut part of this video out, um, I have heard that, but I've heard that before, that was like a, I think in, they talk about that in Full Metal Jacket, like, uh, or I don't know, there was some movie, probably like some war movie that I watched, like, I've, I've heard this before though, or maybe like, I don't know, radical feminists talk about, like, stuff men say about women of different ethnicities, you know. Um, I'm just trying, I'm sorry, like, that was a bombshell. If you've ever seen this video, like, you understand, like, what just happened to me. Like, I haven't heard anything that perverted in a long time either. So, like, I'm just, like, reeling right now. I'm okay with, well, fin there can't be, it can't be worse than that. <laughs> oh, dear, okay which might be the reason why they seem to be soulless. Is it because I can't penetrate their slit eyes? Is that why they look soulless to me? Or are they really soulless? Oh, dear. <laughs> is that... Uh, yes. That's kind of racist. They have no souls. They're closer to robots or insects than any other Jeez. race there is. Which is probably why they invented things such as Nintendo and the Casio watch. Um... The Casio watch. I had a Casio keyboard. I didn't know Casio had watches. But, um, oh, wait, yeah, now, wait. Yes, I did. Like, that's, like, the classic, like, the Casio watch is, like, the classic, um, like, calculator-looking watch, right? Digital watch, yeah. Um, sorry, I only look at Rolexes, because I'm just, I'm just so, so rich, you know, um, I haven't thought about a peasant's watch in a long time. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to distract because, like, I just got, like, a crazy perverted bomb dropped on me. And then, and then he's just being like, this is pretty racist. I mean, I'm going to put my foot down on this. Like, I I mean, I, uh, I, but I don't, like, it's, it's not him. You know what I mean? Like, I think, I can tell now that he's kind of, like, making fun of, you know, just, I guess, American guys who get really deep into Japanese culture. You know, I think, like, the the current equivalent of this, because I think this is, like, 10 years old. Um, I think, like, the weeboos of today. Like, it, this is sort of the predecessor to the weeboo that he's kind of making fun of. And uh, I, I also know, like, I have seen an inconvenient anime, and so I remember stuff that he said from that, um lecture or whatever because it's basically a lecture um like stand-up comedy routine lecture though i kind of that's kind of it's kind of fun that he does that that like he sort of blends like giving a lecture with stand-up um is that distracting enough like i'm just i'm sorry i'm reeling like I, I feel like i've had like a lot of intense stuff dropped on me today language even is more like a it's like a gobbledygook chink computer, but it sounds like a, you know, 
Mega Sorry for any gulping or slurping. I'm just a bit some drinking some coffee. Sorry. Flip flop language. Flip flop language. <laughs> what the fuck are you saying, dude? Seriously, In Korea, it's not any not any better. It's like uh. I mean, shut the fuck up! Oh no! <laughs> to be fair, like he he does this stuff like this now in the live stream, so I'm not like super shocked. I think it's just <laughs> yeah. I just haven't heard anything that like racially perverted in a long, long time. So I'm I'm very sensitive. Should I be doing this? I'm. You should just turn this off and just like just read the Bible. Join a nunnery. I don't know. Jesus Christ, man! Fuck up. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm glad that's over. <laughs> you know, it was yeah, it was interesting. Well, I love you guys. I hope you have a good rest of your week, and I will see you next week. Thanks. Bye.